Michael, I enjoyed The Conjuring 3 enormously. And I suppose my first question was, you know, you got a feeler for this franchise doing um, The Curse of La Llorona before it. But was there that added sense of pressure of doing the third official The Conjuring movie? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, this is the... I mean, this is the most successful horror franchise that there is. This is the best horror franchise that there is. I uh, I would be saying that even if I wasn't shamelessly promoting, you know, uh, my film. But um, honestly, it uh, I, you know I love The Conjuring, and you know it is something that you know without a doubt these are big shoes to fill. I mean, James is the master of horror, and you know I've heard so many times like people saying like, you know, oh my God, I'm so nervous that someone else besides James is directing The Conjuring. And um, what I've been really excited about is, you know, you know, people who have seen the film really love it. And um, it's, you know, from the very beginning, you know, it was designed to as a departure from the main, you know, the main uh, concept, you know, we're, you know, breaking down the doors of the, the haunted house format. Um, but beyond that, I think it still stays true to the, you know, the spirit and the soul of Conjuring and, you know, definitely this is a Warren story, you know, more than, more than ever before, you know, we kind of put them in the, uh, put them, uh, you know, through the grinder. And um, I'm really proud of the, uh, of the film and just the results. Absolutely. I was curious about what were some of the kind of bigger challenges that you came across while you were shooting the movie? You know, I think that one of the biggest cha challenges from the very beginning was just the actual case itself. You know, this is a, you know, with the other Warren, you know, case files, these are um, these are stories where, you know, you can you can playfully en entertain the idea. Maybe it was real. Maybe it wasn't. Um, this is, you know, you know, a big exception to that because there was there was a real victim. There's a real murder at the center of it. And, you know, a, a man's life was taken. Another man went to trial and his life hung in the balance. So all of a sudden, the kind of the kind of thought experiment of do I believe in the supernatural? Do I believe in demons? Do I believe in God? Do I believe in the in the devil? All of a sudden that takes kind of a bigger weight, you know, where, you know, and even when I was reading the script, it's, you know, I started kind of, you know, I grew up Catholic and I was kind of wondering, you know, well, what do I really believe with this? And it really, I think that just the material itself, it kind of, it, you know, it kind of put me on, on the spot and through developing the script, making the movie, you know, even through the editorial process, I think that we were, you know, 100%, it's a Conjury movie, it's a thrill ride, it's a scary movie. But I think we were also just trying to, you know, walk the line and be respectful of, you know, the real victim in the story. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's so interesting because what you're saying is kind of touching on like I was talking to uh, Vera and Patrick there as well. And they were kind of talking about the fact that it is rooted in this true story and that like as a result, it kind of gets this emotional depth. And I think that comes across in the relationship between the Warrens as well. So, yeah, I, was, I suppose I was curious a bit about kind of accomplishing both that emotion, but also like sticking to the genre, the fact that it's a horror and it has to be scary as well. How did you find kind of managing that balance, I suppose? Yeah, you know, I think that that's, I think it's an artful balance that honestly has, you know, James did it so well in the first one and the second one. And I think it is, you know, the, you know, in some, it was something that I really, I think that that is that kind of special recipe of the Conjuring movie is it's ruthlessly scary, but it also has a tremendous amount of heart. And, um, you know, a lot of that is, you know, it's something that you just have to balance out every step of the process. And I think also, you know, Patrick and Vera are so amazing at doing that. And they, they, you know, they're so, as people, they're amazing. They're just awesome, you know, people, they're incredible actors. And then they, they know these roles so well. And I think they bring so much warmth to it that, you know, whatever you put them through, they, they have a way of just kind of bringing that into the scene. They just have a way of, you know, kind of equalizing the story. Um, I know I'm low on time here, so I suppose I just had one that was kind of just a bit of fun. I thought it was interesting because you've kind of done an officially Conjuring movie and then like a spin-off as well. If you had to be haunted by any character from the Conjuring franchise, which one would you choose and why? Um, I would go with, I would go with the nun. I would go with Bonnie because she's lovely. I've met her in person. <laughs> and if I had to be haunted by anyone, it would be her. That's so funny because I was going to go with La Llorona because I'm a bride-to-be and I thought she might give me some tips. 
Ooh, that is the right answer. I might have time for one more quick question. I suppose just my final one to wrap up. Um, I noticed there, although it is, you know, Wikipedia, they can always be misleading, but I've heard you've signed on for The Reckoning with for, uh, with Michael Bay, and that's another horror. Um, what can you tell us about that or about like maybe some other projects you have in the pipeline? Oh, yeah. You know, that was a movie that we were developing even before La Llorona. And it was a really interesting, um, you know, basically it was this kind of almost like this, uh, a little bit of like the John Car John Carpenter's uh, The Fog, like, you know, the idea that, you know, this, this presence sweeps over San Francisco. And um, it, uh, it basically kind of gives almost this kind of, you know, a night of, of reckoning, you know, this kind of supernatural, um, you know, night where, I mean, it, it was almost kind of the originally conceived a little bit kind of like a supernatural purge um, where you kind of took this kind of, you know, this kind of big scopey, it was a horror film, but it would be big and scopey and have a supernatural element to it. And, um, you know, it was one of those projects that, uh, you know, I still like am very fond of. It's kind of, it's tricky, you know, movies are just tricky to put together sometimes. We'll have to leave it there anyway, Michael. Um, I can see I've run out of time, but um, yeah, it was just such a pleasure watching this movie. I can't wait to see what you do next. And just thanks so much for taking the time. Oh, thank you so much. And congratulations on your wedding. I, uh, I, I, uh, I'm so excited for you. Oh, stop. Well, now all of YouTube knows. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I'm vaccinated. <laughs>